guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Emily Lucy Wretch. If you are new here, I've got an Instagram account, a TikTok account, and now a YouTube channel. So welcome if this is your first time here today. And today's video is all about spring. We are literally on the cusp of spring. It is the 2nd of March today, so I can feel the spring vibes coming through and I'm excited for them after a very hard year. <laughs> so, I've done a lot of research into the trends that are gonna come through. These are specifically spring ones. I will definitely do a summer update. But I kinda wanted to do this video because I personally find trends really hard to adapt to a mid-size body shape. And obviously, in any situation, that shouldn't be happening. But as designers and high street brands, tend to cater to sizes 6 to 10 and then we also now have the plus size market the mid size market is definitely overlooked in so many ways and especially when it comes to trends so something I always say to my girls on Instagram is don't get hung up on trends really try and go for what suits your body shape rather than what's in fashion at that time because those trends sadly weren't made for curvaceous, shapely body shapes. But with that being said, I have been hunting. I've gone through all of the catwalk reports, so Vogue, Glamour, Cosmo, Who, What, Where. I've literally scanned them all to get all the best trends for spring, summer 2021. And on top of that, I've also gone through Selfridges website, I've gone through ASOS, Zara, Boohoo, Mango, H&M, Misguided, Nasty Girl. I have searched all of the websites to see what is coming in right now because a lot of brands do try to start spring early and try and set the tone of what they're going to be releasing over spring summer. With that being said, let's get started. I'm going to talk to you first of all about the trends and predictions that have been made from Vogue and other various online magazine sources to say what is coming through the lines this spring summer. So I've got my trusty on trend book with me that I've wrote loads of little tips in that I just know I have to try and remember throughout this video because I am really bad for going off on a tangent and then the next thing I come to edit the video and I think oh my god I've missed out so much. So lots of the spring trends personally I wouldn't feel comfortable wearing. So there's lots of cutouts, backless, crop tops, bralettes. I mean, we can wear them in a specific and different way and I feel like they'll be really concentrated on through summer. But I feel like right now, it's March the 2nd, it's definitely very gloomy outside and I am not wearing a bralette anywhere. So some of them aren't always the most realistic day-to-day -day wears, which is what's gonna happen when it comes to fashion. And you know, that's something that I really concentrate on as a mid-sized personal shop just to be realistic and say that might look amazing on the catwalk but are you going to be able to wear it to your local restaurant on a Friday night for an Italian meal so I always have that in mind and I have seen a lot of these trends that are being predicted such as like really really backless um, cutouts, spaghetti straps around the waist, crop tops those kind of things are amazing on holiday and things like that and I do think those trends will come through further into summer but the ones that I've really found that I can get excited about almost and really see coming through are wide leg trousers. We saw those on Louis Vuitton, Catwalk, Chloe, Tom Ford. Loads of amazing wide leg trousers in really gorgeous tones. A lot of earthy tones, but also some beautiful fuchsia tones coming through. And I also noticed that trend coming through with Nasty Girl. I actually wore this Nasty Girl wide leg cord and I don't know what it was when this came out I got this I think in like November December time and I almost had it in mind that I can't wait to wear this in summer it'll definitely keep coming out I did have to have the trousers taken up because they were so long um but fit wise the, this whole cord was a size 12 which I was shocked about because I thought it would be really tight and that is something I find, as I am quite bottom heavy in the leg department, wide leg trousers, to actually look wide leg on my legs, they have to be baggy. So to actually be fitted on the waist and be baggy on the legs is like the holy <laughs> holy grail of trousers because there's a rarity there. Usually the two don't go together. But 
these nasty girl trousers in this really lovely like minty earthy green pastel color very similar to this um dress that i'm wearing now but it's just a little bit more of a sage tone rather than a mint i just absolutely love this cord it is still available right now and i did wear a size 12 it also happens to have a backless back which is also very on trend for this summer so i would grab this cord while it is still in sock because i can imagine come summer this look will be huge and i found it super flattering i wore my big primark pants no shapewear because obviously you would see it because of the backless feature but i wore my i'll post it here i wore my really high-waisted um pants from primark that have the lace on and i just find these really complement and flatter my lower tummy area and i put them with this cord and i just felt amazing i wore for my birthday i felt absolutely amazing this cord and i can definitely see this is going to be a huge color and trend of the wide leg trousers coming through Talking of colour, something we saw coming through on the catwalks, especially Victoria Beckham, was fuchsia. These bright, gorgeous pink and fuchsia shades of sienna and pink and oh, just so zesty for summer. I can imagine being in Mykonos, gold jewellery, fuchsia top off, fuchsia suit on, just feeling literally like I've walked out of Club Tropicana. Like I love a bright colour in summer so much. But they seem to be coming through already for spring. I've noticed that Boohoo already on site have got these amazing bold prints, fuchsia colours coming through. So I definitely think brands like Pretty Little Thing, Boohoo, they're all going to be pulling these really amazing bright colours out this summer to celebrate freedom that we will hopefully be having this summer. Another trend that I absolutely love and am so excited about is this big shirt look. Molly May started doing this, I noticed, in like November, December in her Dubai trip and throughout summer and it's to wear swimming costumes and bikinis but with a really big oversized shirt. I did the same with this look here. I got this shirt from Misguided, again it's still available and I just feel like, I just feel so good when I'm wearing that shirt. It's just, it's just such a lovely white and light blue together and I love wearing it with gold jewellery the same way that Molly May wears a lot of gold jewellery. We're definitely going to see that trend coming through more and more again. I've noticed Zara is absolutely full of amazing gold jewellery and so is ASOS right now so if you're wanting to bag a bargain and not pay you know the Molly May prices for certain things head to Zara and ASOS they have some absolutely amazing gold jewellery and I just really love that trend of bits of gold earrings, hoop gold earrings, gold bracelets, gold rings. I just think it looks so glam with like a light blue and white shirt. So crisp. Denim. Oh, I just love those looks together. It's so nice. Oversized shirts will definitely be a huge trend. I'm also seeing that on H&M and Mango right now, very 90s style of like oversized shirts with wide leg jeans and just the whole approach of like what I have in my mind of what the 90s were when it was just like everything was oversized and baggy and I think that trend is definitely going to come through. Just be careful as a mid-sized body to not do too much baggy clothing as it just will drown you, especially if you're quite petite, like I'm five foot two, so if I go for a wide leg jean and then an oversized shirt, I am going to literally look like I am just being drowned by these clothes. So for me personally, if I'm going to go for an oversized shirt, I want something that's going to be tight underneath or I'm going to do the wraparound effect like I did here where I put it into the skirt or I'm going to put it into the jeans like that. Or if you wanted to, a lovely look that I love to do is wear a bodysuit and then the oversized shirt over the top and you can wear that with jeans or shorts. That's a really nice look. But talking of wide leg jeans, they are everywhere. You cannot avoid the wide leg jeans now. I have only just become a convert myself. I would say in the last year I have started to wear mum jeans. Before that I was a complete rebel. I was like, no way am I wearing mum jeans. Like they're just so unflattering on my body shape. But now I feel like brands have really understood that this is an issue that, you know, mid-size and petite women especially really struggle with the idea of having a really wide leg jean because it just adds so much volume and it just it doesn't work when things are too baggy. But there's two looks here. One is the misguided ripped jeans, which I absolutely love. These ones are Raya and I've got them in a tall. They're available still too and I've linked them down below. Or the other ones I'm wearing here, which are from Pretty Little Thing, and they are actually from the petite section. And again, both of them are very wide-legged, ripped jeans, but I've put both with a simple bodysuit, which really works to pull in the lower tummy area and flatten the stomach. But then you can almost go 
a little bit baggier with the jacket over the top so you could do the blue and white shirt I just mentioned you could do a blazer like this this is a big trend that I'm gonna come and speak on in a second then you could also do the light trenches which I've put through there I've noticed some light trenches coming through with H&M mango Zara all these earthy tones of these trenches to transition into summer obviously in summer we're not going to be wearing trench coats but right now for spring these colors with the wide leg jeans which are an absolutely huge trend and i cannot see going anywhere anytime soon because literally this is mango's homepage right now they could not be shouting wide leg jeans any more than they are right now so i honestly think it's time if you haven't tried them you're gonna have to give them a go and see what you think but as i said at the start of this video you do not have to follow trends it is all about how you feel in these things and I think sometimes, you know, experiment with trends can be quite fun and you can be, you know, a little bit more experimental with things and you might find that you actually really like them. That is how I felt about mum jeans when I first tried them and now I do tend to wear mum jeans quite a lot and those two outfits I just showed you that I've recently put together, I felt great in those outfits because they were daytime and also nighttime but you can just make them into so many different varied outfits for different occasions and I just think it's going to be a huge trend for spring. Then to just touch on what I mentioned about this blazer, these earthy shades are here to stay for spring, they are not going anywhere. I think they've been quite a big trend throughout this third lockdown. I've noticed brands like Misguided, ASOS bringing out loungewear and sportswear in this kind of earthy tone, you cannot avoid it, it's everywhere, matching tracksuits and the joggers and the jumpers in these earthy tones that is now transitioning into spring and it's going to be this kind of earthy tailoring so i noticed this tailoring coming through again with this like 90s vibe was all over Skyded, zara h&m asos nasty girl like this tone of blazer is just everywhere the one I'm wearing today is actually from Missy Empire. Again, it's still available and I've linked it down below. But then I also put this look together for Miss Pat where I've done, I've really gone for the tailoring idea with this full suit, bodysuit, and I felt great in that. I can imagine that kind of look will be such an amazing out of lockdown experience where you just want to like go to a nice event. Maybe you've got an engagement party, maybe you've got a birthday coming up. Maybe you've got something that you just feel like you want to feel fashionable look grey and just have a bit of a like a wow what is she wearing kind of moment and that is this kind of tonal suit which is going to be everywhere I cannot see this going anywhere either it's just just on every single website that I've searched and looked at today some trends that I didn't get behind and I don't particularly like that are all over the high street at the moment didn't really see who what where or Vogue or Cosmo mentioned anything about these so I don't really know where these trends come from if you know please comment below and help me out because I'm not too sure but it's these Peter Pan collars I'm just not a fan of these Peter Pan collars I just personally think it's definitely not my style and I'm a 31 year old woman so I don't particularly want to look like a child so the Peter Pan collar I mean it's personal preference but for me it's just it's just not a trend I can get behind but a trend I can see is going from strength to strength and again it's a hate or love it is the tote bags so the designer beach tote bags they are everywhere and I'm pretty sure they're going to continue to be everywhere this summer as well and that was one of the big trends that was mentioned on one of the websites either Vogue or Cosmo I can't remember but it was beach tote bags are just here to stay. I mean I would, I have actually contemplated buying one of the Christian Dior ones because my friend Tash has one and I absolutely fell in love with it. I just think it's so beautiful and it just looks so nice on the beach. But then the practicality of me living in Leeds, having a £2,000 Dior tote bag that I take to Tesco right now is just not something I can get behind. So I found some alternatives right now which ASOS have got and I'm pretty sure over the next few months as we approach the summer and people are shopping for bikinis and swimwear and all the best summer items, there is gonna be tote bags galore everywhere. This is gonna be a huge trend that the high street definitely is foreseen coming because you only have to look at some beach club photos right now wherever in Mexico or Dubai and everyone has these amazing designer tote bags so I don't think these are going anywhere and like I said it's a hit or miss for some people let me know in the comments if you love or hate these tote bags and if you will be buying one or if you've bought one or if you hate them 
that's total personal preference. So just to summarise, what I think is going to come through and I'm going to see more and more of is number one, wide leg jeans. You are not going to be able to get away from wide leg jeans. When stores open, I feel like they're going to be the focal point of every store at the moment is wide leg jeans. The same with shirts, so puff sleeves, big shirts, everything like that. And that's going to be a really big trend for spring. And again, with this kind of earthy tone, I feel like this is going to be everywhere and it's continuing to be everywhere through spring and maybe even through to summer. Gold jewellery, so gold rings, gold bracelets, gold watches, gold earrings, hoop gold earrings. I feel like that trend is here to stay for a while as well. And that can continue through with pastel tailoring. I feel like suits with wide leg trousers are going to be a massive thing for spring and then continue through to summer. And I definitely can get behind the wide leg trouser trend. I think if you do it correctly with something that's quite tight on top and then loose on the bottom, and maybe you have to do some tailoring changes like I did where I'd have them taken up or even have them taken in at the waist. I think if you can actually get a good pair of wide leg trousers then they'll last you a long time. They are a beautiful pair of trousers to have in your wardrobe for holiday, summer, you know that feeling of like the sun's out but you don't want to be too naked so you go for a nice beautiful pair of wide leg trousers and a nice tight top christening, wedding vibes, I just think it's a really good staple piece to have in your wardrobe and now is the perfect time to find the holy grail of wide leg trousers and then get them adjusted to however you want them. Zara is going to be all over this, they always have a good selection of wide leg trousers so I can see Zara really pushing that trend. And then as we creep closer to summer I think the trends of bold colours, bold prints, fuchsia, these really tropical kind of prints and tones will be coming through and you won't be able to avoid those either. They will literally be everywhere so if you're not into wearing colour don't feel pressure to do it. Do what makes you happy. Monochrome is a huge trend that I saw on the catwalk but I feel like that's a very standard trend for me to talk about but if you love wearing all black it's almost okay right now because it is on trend and then again with mixing black and white I think that will be a huge trend that we will see grow more and more towards summer. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a bit different from me and I definitely promise to do a summer update of this. I love to do my personal shops with you guys where we can really understand why each item suits our body and what it is going to do to make you feel the best version of yourself. So we'll definitely be doing more of those soon. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe and give this video a like. And if you want more advice on how to create outfits for daytime, nighttime, trends, no trends, then please head over to my Instagram and I've linked everything down below that you might find helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys really soon. Bye.